As a faculty member of the University of Michigan, I was focusing on impacting communities. My research in low and middle income countries on energy and resilience and autonomy. And I didn't intend for this to become a market opportunity. The more we worked with these communities, the more they kept asking, is this something that we can commercialize? I think this is where the William Davidson Institute is such a great partner because they were able to see very clearly how this could be commercialized into a market opportunity. Jose has developed a great technology that we believe has a lot of potential to be a profitable and scalable business in low and middle income countries. One that can bring benefits in the energy space and agriculture and through that have positive social and economic benefits more broadly. Energy is critical, one of the main drivers for human development. Right now, there is a large part of low and middle income countries that do not have access to electricity. We can use agricultural residues, woody biomass, and turn it into energy as well as carbon that we can then store in the soil. In general, when you're trying to do gasification, you focus on energy recovery and not on the production of biochar. But we realize that biochar is an important product that we can take advantage of. That biochar essentially locks carbon into place and allows us to put it in the soil. This technology can help us bring the cost down of electricity supply to many of these areas. We can compete with the grid and we can supplement solar energy. I think there is a huge potential in low and middle income countries for this to become an energy solution, particularly because of the focus on agriculture. It allows them to increase their sustainability, to have autonomy and resilience on their uh, energy solutions, and create a more circular economy around their production. WDI started by evaluating all the potential markets around the world for this kind of product. And we developed a tool and narrowed down to a few priority countries. We then did a deep dive market analysis to understand the best uh, market entry strategy there and then moved forward with developing contacts and developing aspects of the business model to be able to move this uh, project from prototype to business. So when you take it all together, this is what we mean at WDI when we say solving for business.